Hi, this is Dr. Heidi, your medical English teacher, and in today's lesson, you'll be practicing your medical English speaking skills. You'll learn how to talk to a patient about swimmer's ear. The lesson will be split into two sections, the keywords and also the scenario. In the first section, I'll be teaching you new words and you'll repeat them out loud after me. In the second section, it will be the scenario. It's the dialogue between the patient and the doctor. And watch the scenario twice. The first time, focus on your listening. And then the second time, replay the scenario. And then pause after each sentence and repeat out loud what was just said. That way, you will be practicing your speaking skills and your pronunciation. So let's get started. The keywords of today are ear, ear, pain, pain, swimmer's ear, swimmer's ear. Okay, that's it for the keywords. Let's go watch the scenario and don't forget, watch it twice. First time listening, second time pause, repeat out loud so that you can work on your pronunciation. Hi, Mr. Smith. How are you? Oh, Dr. Russell, I'm not feeling very well. I'm sorry to hear that. What seems to be the problem? My ear is sore. It's quite painful when I chew. How long have you had this pain? Uh, about two weeks. Is it a sharp pain? Not really. It's more of a throbbing pain. Do you feel as if the pain radiates to any other part of the body or is it just the ear? Just my ear and tooth. Do you feel a popping sensation when you move your ear or jaw? Yes, I do actually. Is there anything else bothering you? Yes, my ear is itchy and I have muffled hearing. Has the pain been like this for two weeks or has it gotten worse during this time? It's gotten worse with time. Is there anything that makes the pain go away or is there anything that makes it get worse? Medicine makes it go away, but after a few hours it comes back. Oh, eating makes it worse. If you describe the intensity of the pain with 10 being the worst, how would you scale it? It's around 5. Do you scratch inside your ears? No. Do you use cotton buds to clean the ear canal? No. Do you wear hearing aids? No. By any chance, do you swim? Yes, I do swim. And actually, now that you mention it, after I swim, the pain gets really bad. Okay, let me take a look at your ear. Your ear canal looks red and swollen. You also have discharge, which is clear and watery. The tympanic membrane isn't damaged nor torn. I believe you have swimmer's ear. What is that? Swimmer's ear is an inflammation or infection of the outer ear canal and it's usually caused by a bacterial infection. You're more likely to get swimmer's ear if you regularly get wet in the ear such as when you go swimming. A wet ear canal makes it easier to get infected. I'm going to prescribe you some medicated eardrops and if possible get someone to apply the eardrops for you. It's easier than trying to do it yourself. In most cases, treatment will improve symptoms within one to three days. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Is there anything else I need to do? Yes. During treatment, you should also avoid getting your ear canal wet. So don't swim until you're better and wear a shower cap while bathing or showering. Avoid inserting anything into your ear canal, including cotton buds. Avoid scratching or touching your ear. Um, how about prevention? Is there anything I can do to prevent this? Because I'm not going to stop swimming. Sure, swimming is very important for your physical and mental health. You can go back to swimming once you're better. But there are ways to prevent swimmer's ear, which include drying your ear canal with a hair dryer, or using earplugs while swimming, 
Also, tilting your head after swimming to remove as much water as possible from your ear canals. Not inserting cotton buds or other objects or your fingers into your ears. And try not removing earwax since it can protect against infection. And also, I would like to see you in a week's time to see how this is progressing. If it gets worse in the meantime, come in earlier so I can assess again. How does that sound? That sounds good. Thank you so much, doctor. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. I hope you liked today's lesson. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.